Hey guys, this is Dirk Dallas here with Adorama TV and today I am super excited to show you the new Phantom 4. I'm going to take it up for a flight so I can show you the new flying features that are built inside thanks to artificial intelligence. We have tap fly, active track, sense and avoid, and of course the new sport mode. So I'm going to take this for a flight, so let's go check it out. Alright, so let's take the Phantom 4 up. I've already calibrated the drone. So I'm going to take off. All right, so one of the first things I wanted to show you was the object avoidance technology. So right now I'm in P mode and I'm going to fly the drone right at me and I'm not going to do anything. So you can see it sensed me and it stopped all on its own. I'll do this one more time. I'm going to fly the drone at me. So obviously I don't recommend you doing that, but that is pretty cool. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you was one of the intelligent flight modes that comes with the Phantom 4. To get to this setting, I'm gonna hit the little remote control icon on the left-hand side of my screen. I get four options. The first one is tap fly, so I'm gonna push that. If you've never done it, it's gonna run you through a tutorial, but I've already exited out of that because I understand how to do it now. All I need to do is tap somewhere on my screen, like up there in the clouds, hit go, and the drone will start to fly in a straight line to that spot. So I can adjust the speed. Right now it's going pretty slow at 2.2 miles per hour. And I can increase this all the way up to 22 miles per hour. And you see it says ascending. It's ascending because there's trees in the way. And as soon as I want this to stop, I'm going to hit stop. And I'm going to turn it back around. And I'm going to tap fly down to where we are and hit go. And it's now going to go in a straight line and you see it's descending. I'm going to slow this down. It's going a little fast. It's descending all on its own back towards us. There's some wind, so I actually need to increase the speed. It's pretty windy out here. And stop. So I'm now going to go back to um, my remote control symbol and I'm now going to go to active track. And I'm going to show you guys how the active track works by tracking a subject. I'm going to select active track and there's the tutorial. I'm going to exit out of this. And if it's a person, all I need to do is tap on the subject. So I'm going to tap on myself and it recognizes me and then I get the green bar and I'm going to hit go and now the drone will track me even though I'm moving. So it will try to keep the same altitude and the same distance. So now it's coming towards me. So that is really cool. Alright, so I'm going to stop that. Alright, and the last mode I'm going to show you is the sport mode. So on the top left hand side of the remote control, I'm going to switch it from P to S, which now brings me into sport mode. And you want to definitely do this in a big open field because the sticks are really sensitive and the drone goes really fast. So I'm going to gun it. It's going to go full speed. And here I go. So pretty cool. And I'm now going to bring it back full speed. So this thing is fast. It's really sensitive. But it is super fast. So you can see I'm whipping it around. Definitely a fun feature. I find myself switching back and forth between sport mode and P mode just because sometimes sport mode is a little too sensitive. So now I'm going to bring it in for a landing. All right, well, thanks for watching Adorama TV. I hope that was helpful to you guys. I'm Dirk Dallas, and I'll see you guys next time.